Hi, it's Dave Safford from IES Technical Sales. We're here uh, today to talk a little bit about how to economically heat a gas line from a gas cabinet to a tool. Um, oftentimes they are very long, um, 80 feet or more, and um, it gets very, very expensive uh, to heat these gas lines. Um, and also you have issues where you have curves in the gas line that aren't easily um, heated by other methods. So um, what we have here is a, a, a way to maintain a very uniform heat and control of a gas line from a um, gas cabinet uh, to a tool. So what we're, what we're doing here is we've got um, one straight section, as long as you have one straight section, either one foot or two feet, depending on whether you use 120 volts or 240 volts. Um, this heater actually has not only the heating element in it, but it also has a sensor built into it to allow us to control it. So this controller is monitoring the sensor inside of this heater, and it's modulating the power on and off to maintain this heater at temperature. Say it's like 85 degrees C or up to 200 degrees C. So not only is power coming to this heater inside of this element um, and heating that, but it's also providing switched power out the other end of that heater. So there's, uh, there's two sides of this. One side comes in, one side goes out. The heating element is being heated, and in parallel with that, this power is coming out, and it's switched at the same rate as the heater inside of this. So we're taking this switched power, and we're daisy-chaining it to... Um, an inexpensive way to, to heat the rest of the line. So this is um, just a uh, stretch to length heater. It's basically uh, vulcanized into uh, a curly pigtail and it comes in up to six feet lengths. This is just a very short one foot long section and uh, this basically will wrap around the, um, the pipe again going around curved areas very easily and um, this gets daisy chained. This power in this case we're just showing two examples of two different um, connector types, a, uh, a Canon um, twist and lock and this is a mate and lock from AMP that connects. Um, this would normally connect on here and power would not only flow to this heater but it would also, again in a similar fashion, come out and be daisy chained out to another connector. You just basically connect these all, you know, all from the gas cabinet to the tool um, and we then found a, a very inexpensive way to insulate this material. So we found a very inexpensive flexible insulation material that wraps around this stretch to length heater and um, we use uh, velcro closures or you could use tie wraps or um, heat shrink tape. We've used several different methods that basically wrap around that and hold this in place and oftentimes people don't even actually need to use that at all. They'll just wrap it in place and it'll be fine. So um, again, an inexpensive way to um, get around uh, bends and edges inside of a, a, um, an install for um, a gas line from a gas cabinet to a um, tool. And um, if you'd like this or more information about this um, sort of a solution, please uh, look us up at um, uh, IESTechSales.com or you can call me directly. It's Dave Safford. My number is 603-770-0534. Thanks for watching.